Okay, thank you. Happy, 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 big smile Expecting for a little bit. It still looks good. Uh, I prefer to to ride back to back because if I have a couple races off, I get yeah like tired or you know complacent. And back to back race for me is better. It keeps me focused and, and keeps me moving. Um, you make sure like a day like today, you get a good dinner the night before riding ten races. So got a steak, a little steak in me, <laughs> and good rest and. Breeze a few this morning to stretch the legs out and, and get warmed up and uh, get ready for today. And they're off. Speed to the inside from Little Luca, right out towards the front and Persistent Danger is right there as well. The World Valley trying to keep up as they get set to reach the top of the stretch. Little Luca and Dylan Davis finding plenty so far. They hug the rail and now kick away. 46 and 3 for that half mile time. It's Little Luca. Gray Wing has had this sustained rally up on the outside trying to catch this leader. Little Luca going to try and hang on here for a final furlong. Gray Wing is catching with every stride and persistent danger going with that one. It's still Little Luca finding plenty though. Little Luca's back up by two. Little Luca's game. Little Luca, Dylan Davis, they get the victory. It's Little Luca over persistent danger. Gray Wing. Okay. Here you go, you're no longer Ofer with uh with me around. <laughs> yeah. Now plan was to break while the a little worry because the horse gets a little late there down the stretch uh, with finishing, but with the inside position, just making sure I break sharp. If another horse wants to go, they can go, but we kinda established the lead into the turn. He, my horse was having trouble, he was holding his breath a little bit. Give him a little bit of a breather, like blowing, like with my mouth, like this, to get him. Then he let go of a lot of air he was holding, and just continuing on doing that to make sure that he remembers to breathe, and he's he's uh, continually holding his breath, so able to find some a little late and hold off the the closers. Uh, how's the track playing? Is it still a little got a little moisture to it, like you thought? Yeah, uh, they have it opened up. Uh, they just added some water to it, so you know, the, with the uh, warmer temperatures now, it's, it's drying out a little bit. But uh, based off the first two races, I think inside speed is really good, and uh, we, I think we're just going to hold on to that rail as long as we can. It's life and light right out to the front, and there's Majestic Eagle to apply pressure, and now takes command. Majestic Eagle is the new leader, as Candy Tycoon is going to be in that early mix as well. Just outside of that one comes life and light as these three hook up with the back stretch. 48 seconds flat for the half mile time. The rail was open and gut feeling took the seam. Look at that in an instant. Gut feeling is now in front. Following that same hole is going to be digital and digital is going to move on through to the inside of Majestic Eagle striking speed. Complexion completely changes here as they reach the top of the stretch. Can gut feeling dig down and find more towards the inside? It's digital as they approach the 16th, but gut feeling all hard down at the inside. And look at gut feeling. Big effort, Dylan Davis, gut feeling, they get it done. Hi, Jen. Hey. Again? Uh, two in a row? <laughs> two in a row, same guys. Uh, talk about that, that move that you made along the rail to kind of yeah. get up to the lead. Uh, so, uh... He won with Manny, two back there uh, on the rail. And what I said the last race, I thought the rail was really good today so far. And went to the rail early, got a gap there across the chute, happy there. Uh, the kind of Marcy said that they don't, this horse doesn't like to be grabbed too much. So I just kept my hands on. He started moving into the pace, into the race. And when I got to the turn, there was a, you know, a room on the rail there. And he, I didn't want to have to grab him. That's what they told me not to do. So he jumped in there. And then once I got through there, I gave him a little breather. Guys were starting to chase from the three and a half onto the quarter. I just sat my ground there and saved some whores. Then once we straight, one was switched over back to the right. Yeah, I thought I was beat, and then he was able to re-engage and find some more uh, second win. Uh, two wins early on the card. How Feels great. That, yeah. How does that kind of help you throughout the rest of oh, the? Oh, big time. No, it did. great to get a go, get some winners uh, early. Uh, boost the confidence. I feel good. I feel great. You know, and now I'm excited for the next races.
You know, uh, I know the rail has been good. I just want to save as much ground as possible. I saw those two horses going to it. I tucked in. I could have stayed in the three wide spot and gave her uh, clear air. Opted to come inside and in between them. She switched off. I had an early presser there, uh, Eric, uh, into the turn, which was great because it kind of softened those leaders up. Well, once he kept me pressed, I was able to take her outside, and, and then I had a great kick, turn it ball. You've had three wins aboard her now. Uh, how did those two pass rides play into this one? I know you came running late in those two. Yeah, of course, yeah. You know, uh, it definitely it means a lot to uh, get uh, a few rides into a horse that you've been riding, so you get to know them. Uh, she's more of like in the bridle kind of horse. She responds well, not too much uh, sticking, uh, but uh, she's she's a great responder. As long as you get her into stride and she gets into a comfortable rhythm, she, you know that she's going to come with a good run. And off the layoff too, she seemed pretty yeah. loaded, right? Oh, of course, yeah. That's why I said the uh, Chad Brown team they did a great job getting her ready today. You know, it's a, it's tough to uh, get a horse back off a big layoff, but especially in a, in a uh, big race like this. Right. We're here. On the chat. Not moving right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Happy, Towards the outside, and here comes Peony in full pursuit. Has not been asked, and Peony is pushing on by. It's Peony hanging in there as Grenadilla from the back spirit of Esther's trying to rally on with Better Be Smart. It is still Peony finding plenty here as they approach the 16th pole. Peony, Grenadilla, they are well clear of the rest. Peony will give Dylan Davis another one, caps off a big day. Peony wins the finale. Peony wins it over Grenadilla. Peony gives Dylan Davis his fourth win on the afternoon. Dylan. Four wins. Hi, Jim. Wrapping up a successful day. Yeah. Handful of winners. Uh, yeah. Second in some stakes. Uh, yeah. What's the overall feeling? Oh, no. I mean, one winner is great on a day like today, but uh, four, you can't ask for anything better than that. Uh, one of the one greatest stake there earlier and a few other ones. Uh, but great feeling, you know, especially on a day like today, this magnitude is, is great to win.